Oh, hey there. I didn't know I had guests. My name's Ross, spelled R-O-S-S for short. Come on, why don't I show you where I'm from? This right here is not where I'm from. Uh, as you can see, there's Chico, which I'd like to go to Chico State one day. And then there's Orville, which uh, I currently am living. And then there's uh, Butte College, where everybody knows that. But where I'm from is all the way over here. Nice little spot called Bowling Green. That's where I'm from. You can probably tell from the accent. Now, now I'd like to show you a little bit about what I uh, hope to accomplish here at Butte College. So, I like to code and stuff like that. Video games preferably, but a little bit of everything. And, uh... It's something a lot of people don't want to do because it involves a lot of math and whatnot. But it's not like super smarts and all that. It's actually pretty easy. You just got to get used to the language that it prefers in whatever program you're doing. Now, if you follow this little QR code, I'm going to show you off to, on to my website. This is my website because I like to do a little bit of a web coding once in a while for fun. And, uh,. Here's a profile page that I did for a previous class. And uh, returning back to the home page, uh, I did this little deep sea dive kind of a web page. It's kind of boring, but it's there. And then uh, probably the one I liked the most was uh, this Pokemon page, which I uh, did for class. I got a B. So, on to uh, Unity. This is one of the other hobbies that I like to do. This is actually a beach that we were supposed to do for one of our classes. And you can see I got like a little forest thing going on here and all this and that. And then you got this little path you walk up and all that. This took probably about an hour, but uh, it could probably I could probably do it in like 15 minutes now, now that I've gotten used to it. There's a little log cabin. I didn't make any of these 3D models. That's one of the things we're doing this semester. And uh, I guess to talk to you a little bit about one thing to get out of this class. Well, I hope to get out with my life. <laughs> one thing I'd like to get out of this class would probably be to remember and compose what I'm trying to say. Uh, I tend to have to have some sort of guidance or something on the side to sort of remind me of what it is I'm trying to remember. Uh, as far as like standing in front of people or even giving speeches, that's that's not so much of a problem. I don't seem to actually have a problem with talking in front of people. It's just remembering long lines of any sort of speech. Like right now, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say next. So I've kept like a little note to the side, which is pretty nice. But, uh... I guess two tips for an online class would be that I need to have a quiet space. Like to be able to work or do anything, you gotta have a quiet space. But one of the issues is that there's a lot of people in and out of like either your house or your life or doing things and they're just, they're always in the way. There is a way that you could collaborate and come up with something, but for that matter, it's pretty difficult to try to concentrate when you're the one who's the guy to do the work. And besides that, I mean, for an online class, you need a good computer, you need a good camera. You, right now, I'm not even using a camera or a, uh, or even a webcam. I'm using my actual phone and connecting it to my computer. I don't even have a webcam. I ain't about to do that. But uh, you got to have a right computer because you got to be able to have a good connection and all that. Online is it's pretty standard. You're you're at home. You're doing your thing. It's not such a big deal. But um, yeah, it's fun. 